Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So if you're here, you know what empties videos are all about. Um, but in the event that you don't know what empties videos are about, it's basically all the stuff that I've used like hair care products, skincare products, even makeup, um, nails, you name it, in the last whatever time frame that I want, which is about two months for me. Um, and I'll give you little micro reviews about the things and let you know how they work for me and um, it might give you a better idea on whether you want to spend your money on it. So instead of like a first impression, it's more like a last impression and I think that's better than first impressions because I've used the entire product, I've got a full idea on how I feel about the product. Save yourself some money. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned. Welcome back. Alright, I'm not going to do anything in any sort of order, but just to let you know that this is heavily based around skincare, uh, like masks and stuff like that, hair care, and a tiny, tiny bit of makeup. So if you're looking for sort of makeup sort of stuff, it's not, it's not really this video. This is more skincare, hair care. So anyway, it's not going to be in any order, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to get at is this Patiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo. Um... This is the first time that I've sort of used Batiste. I've had other brands, don't ask me what they were, but I actually really, really like this. My only drama was is that um, I went through this really fast. This is a 200ml bottle and I'm not sure how fast people actually go through these, but I'm thinking either I'm really heavy handed or, um, or something because, yeah, I, I want to say I went through this, well, maybe three weeks, four weeks sort of, I don't know, I wasn't using it that often. I just felt like that I only got maybe four goes out of it. Maybe four and a half-ish. But um, I really like this. I mean, the smell was neither here nor there. It wasn't like right up my alley. But I'm definitely going to try out some other brands of this. You can pretty much buy this stuff anywhere. Um, I think next time I want to try the um, brunette version and see how that goes with me. Because it, it does leave a little bit of a white cast. But I mean a white powdery residue. But if you want to just brush your hair through and everything like that, it's perfectly fine. I find the best time to use this is just before you go to bed the night before. Um, yeah, absorbs all the oils, bada bing, bada boom, it does the job, and um, it does the job better than some of the other brands that I've tried before. So I like this, I will be repurchasing it, repurchasing it, but I will be repurchasing it in the brunette version. Moving on, I have a moisturiser here by Clinique. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion Plus, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that very well. This is my go-to moisturiser, I've tried a ton, I've been to the drugstore, I've department stores, I've tried some higher end ones and this one seems to be the one that works for me. Now I have dry skin and um, I did try the uh, other Clinique Moisture Surge one that just wasn't enough for me. I will use this under my makeup, It's um, it doesn't break me out um, in rashes, heat rashes, skin rashes should I say or anything like that. Um, it works perfect, it's fast absorbing on my skin anyway. And I love it, and I've already gone out and brought a big bottle, so, um, yeah, I will repurchase this because I love it, and quite frankly, it's quite cheap anyway. So, like, um, with the other um, Clinique one, the Moisture Surge, it gets sort of like this little round jar, jar, and although it lasts you a long time, it's $50. But I've just brought the dramatically different Lotion Plus version of it, and I got more product for less price. I love it anyway, and that's all that matters, so that's that. Next thing is, I've got three wipes that I've been through, and I'll just show you. I've got these black charcoal wipes, which I received from a Bella Box. In fact, actually, all these ones that I'm going to show you are through Bella Boxes, because I don't really purchase nappy wipes for myself, um, because I don't use them that often. I'll use them if I have them, but um, I really only purchase nappy wipes for my toddler and so these are nice to get now I've got the like I said I've got the black charcoal ones I've got the Neutrogena makeup removing cleansing towelettes and I've also got the Swispers cucumber ones and if I was going to go out and buy any I would definitely buy these two out of the three um, these they were all okay don't get me wrong but I, I liked the, the uh, Swispers ones, the smell of them, I like the smell of them better. These ones I liked the efficiency better. 
But for removing my makeup as a whole, no. I mean, look, I used them on my lazy days or when I was doing like lipstick swatches um, with lipstick stains. Some of the like Maybelline matte ink um, lipstick uh, doesn't come off very easily. And if I just wanted to take one off and put another one on for the sake of doing a video or something like that, I didn't want to go and use my general oil cleanser, cleanser because that's what I would normally use, not nappy wipes or uh, makeup removing wipes. I use these mainly for swatches and on a really, really, really lazy day, but I don't like what um, wipes do to my skin. You know, I will get all blotchy. Um, yeah, but like I said, if I run special, I would probably go and get these just for swatching or cleaning up my desk or anything like that. But that's those three. Um, no, none of them are bad. I just, I like the smell and the feel of these ones better. These ones here left my skin with this tingly sensation. And these were just wipes. They, they were okay, they did the job, but nothing special. So, moving on. Oh, I did a review on this one, a separate review on this mask. It's a body shop mask, and I'll leave the link up there somewhere that you can click. I never know which side to, to point to. But anyway, it'll be up here somewhere, a link to the video, hopefully, if I remember. And this is the Drops of Youth Concentrated Sheet Mask. And I raved about this in the video. Um, look, I, I, I don't necessarily think that it's a miracle, you know, uh, mask. But I've tried a lot of masks from the body shops, and this one, in my personal opinion, perfect. It's like, if you've got dry skin, this is the one that you want to pick. You don't want to go and pick up the, the other ones that say are targeted like for dry skin, like that um, Manuka honey one or, or whatever it is. That dried me out, so it was horrible for me. I tried the, um, the rose, uh, British rose one, same thing, dried me out. But this, game changer four masks at the body shop, in my opinion. Love this, will repurchase it. In fact, I'm actually thinking about buying the um, Drops of Youth um, Concentrate. Um, what is that? I don't even know what that is. It just says concentrate, but I'm actually thinking of buying it because I love the smell. I like the way that it made my skin feel. My skin was really soft. So it is up there with my top favorite sheet masks. My top favorite obviously still is the um, Neutrogena. Is it Neutrogena? Garnier Hydro Bomb, I think. Ah, I think it's a Garnier Hydro Bomb. It's Hydro Bomb anyway. You'll see. It's only it's the only one called Hydro Bomb. So anyway, that's my favourite. This is next, although this smells better. So very close. Moving on. Uh, what else have we got? I've got more masks now. I've got two here. Let me see if I can find both of them. One I loved, one I hated. So these are both from a store called Ishka, which is kind of like a little bit of a hippie. Um, hippie vibe sort of store. It's got crystals, it's got um, knitted sort of stuff. I, it's really hard to explain. I mean, yeah, I love the store. Um, I'm not a hippie or um, anything like that. But anyway, I brought these. They were really, really cheap. I think they were like a dollar. I think they were like a dollar each. They were on special. And one of them is called the Hydrating Cucumber Mask. And the other one's calling called the Relax Soothing Aloe Mask. Now, I personally thought that I was going to like the Soothing Aloe Mask better. I thought that my skin was going to love it, opposed to the Cucumber Mask. Um, but I didn't. This one's still got product in it. This is the Aloe one. I actually wiped it off pretty quickly because it started to burn my skin. Didn't like it at all. Um, I, th I thought aloe may make it feel cooling. I've had aloe on my skin before. I've not had any issues with it whatsoever. But this little guy, mm, I don't know. There's something else in it. Um, and I'm not sure what it is. I haven't really looked at the ingredients properly. But there's something in it that just didn't work for me. But on the other hand, this hydrating cucumber mask. So I can give you... Oops. I'm just breaking everything. This was great. Um, for a dollar... <laughs> I, I, I should have brought more, but you know, I didn't want to be in the situation like with this one and have five of them and mm. But in saying that, I mean, I would go back and buy a ton of these opposed to any of the other masks other than the sheet mask that I just showed you and the other one I just spoke about. For sure, this felt great. A um, little bit weird texture because it's kind of like um, pureed uh, cucumber feel, you know, a little bit gritty, kind of weird, but felt, felt great the next day. So there's those two. I got a sample for a body wash, um, it's, who's it by? Nature's something scent, hang on. Nature's Common Sense. Okie dokie, that's what she looks like. 
and it is um, the goat milk, goat's milk and oatmeal body wash with vitamin E. This was lovely. Um, if it was on special, I'd buy it. It's uh, it's not an in-your-face bam scented sort of um, body wash. It lathers up quite nicely. You don't need much to make it into a decent lather with a squishy or some sort of sponge, not with your hand. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's a very subtle, milky, almost buttery, I don't know how to explain it, but it's nice. It's something that you would expect to um, to use on a baby, I guess, or just a very mild scent, not too strong, but I really enjoyed it, and, um, I wouldn't go out of my way hunting it down to try and find it, but, um, I really enjoyed that, and I would purchase it again if I saw it on the shelf, um, for sure. Hair care product. I have the Argan Oil for Morocco Repairing Deep Conditioner. Uh, this took me quite some time when my hair was longer to actually use. Um, this is a fantastic product. However, I wouldn't buy it again because it doesn't suit my hair type. Um, I, if I put anything seriously conditioning in my hair, it weighs it down and I find that um, if I use any sort of conditioner in my hair or treatment in my hair that's supposed to be conditioning, that I have to pretty much reset my hair. Um, I have to wash it more frequently and I don't like that, so I try and sort of keep my hair washing to every two to three days. Um, I shower more often than that, but I don't like to wash my hair every shower that I have. I like to have a shower every single day, but not my hair. So although I think this is absolutely fantastic, what I think is better than this is the Argan Oil of Morocco um, oil that you can get in sort of like this little tiny canister, and um, that is amazing. And you just put a little dab on there, run it there, pull it through your tips. Perfect, and then my hair doesn't get weighed down, and I could go four or five days if I wanted to without needing to wash and dry my hair without the need to actually use um, any of the dry shampoo. It just doesn't get as greasy as what it does if I use conditioner in my hair. So this would be fantastic for most people, but just not for my, me because my hair just doesn't... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, just doesn't like it. So but I've heard great things about it, but I wouldn't personally repurchase that myself. I am currently using the... Um, Argan Oil of Morocco shampoo, and like I said, I'm also using the um, the Argan Oil of Morocco hair oil, and I think that's absolutely fantastic, and I will purchase those again, and I have. Another mask, and I'm not going to be able to tell you a lot about this, other than the fact that I know that I didn't like it, because I still have leftover product in it that could possibly ooze out of the bottom if I'm not careful, but this is the Garnier Skin Active Honey Mask, and if I recall correctly, um... It, it was fine when it went on, but it really didn't do anything for me. Um, it didn't moisturize my skin. It didn't make me feel rejuvenated or anything like that. I may have even done an Instagram um, post about it. I can't recall. If I did, I'll put it somewhere if I can remember. I'm really bad at putting things down below and linking things up here. So bear with me if it's not there. I will try and remember to do that. But yeah, this is it's, it's not memorable enough for me, so therefore I mustn't have liked it that much. So there's that. What else? Okay, shampoos and conditioners. I have the, I'm not sure how to say this, but I think it's Maui? Ma whatever. You can see what it is. It's shampoo and conditioner. Um, it's, uh, I believe, Shea. Yeah, Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I can't tell you what the conditioner is like because I haven't used it. I only used the shampoo and I'm not going to use the conditioner for two reasons. One, I don't use conditioner in my hair, and two, I like shea butter, but I didn't like the smell of the shampoo, and I figured that the conditioner was just going to smell the same, and I didn't want to test it for the sakes of doing a review on it, so I'm not going to repurchase that. I'm sure that somebody would like this, but I use a lot of shea products, shea butter products, and I just, this one's just a little bit too strong, too perfumed in my opinion, and I didn't like it, so, and I didn't like how it made my hair feel either, so... There's that. All right. I have another product that I haven't used, which is ironic because it's a Argan Oil of Morocco um, lotion. And I like Argan Oil, but uh, I guess I only like it really in hair care products. And this is a lotion. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. My camera's got a light on. It's not doing me any justice or any good. But anyway, most of that's still in there. Mm, yeah, um... It smells like a hair care product. I think that's what uh, one of the things I didn't like about it. And, um, it, yeah, it's very heavily scented, and I have uh, 
really bad skin so I react to a lot of things that's the reason why I wouldn't have continued to use it but somebody else might like it but I, I really didn't so there we go moving on I'm hoping this is not going to be a long video but I had a lot more products that I just put in here in the last week I wasn't going to do a video until the end of February but things just sort of jumped up so I have two makeup removing products and they are the Neutrogena oil free eye makeup remover and the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water Cleansing Water. Now, um, the Neutrogena I only used for my eye makeup. It it does work for removing all of your makeup, but I th I felt that it was particularly good at getting um, mascara, breaking down mascara, and all that sort of stuff, and that's what I used it for. Um, but if you get it in your eyes, you've got blurred vision for about 10 minutes. So yeah, would I repurchase it? No, but there's a reason why, and I'll tell you in a minute. The micellar water just doesn't work for me. I've tried four different types of micellar waters. I've tried this one, I've tried the blue one, I've tried different brands. Um, my skin doesn't like it, and I feel like I have to rub too hard, so I really don't like it. And the reason why I'm not going to pick up either one of these again is because I've turned to an oil cleaner which are currently using the select um, makeup oil remover and that one just completely breaks down all of my makeup if you do it correctly you lather your face up um, dry and then you put a bit of water on your hands not too much turn it into a milk then wash it off everything comes with it I mean I don't need to do a double cleanse I've tried doing a double cleanse just in case that I'm leaving makeup behind but I'm not so um, if you use it right the makeup uh, oil cleanser for someone with dry skin so much so much better than that and it's actually cheaper so this um, is pretty much the same price as the micellar water the select I think I only paid um, the oil I only paid maybe three or four dollars for it's lasted me a lot longer I can clean my sponges with it like this is disgusting right I haven't cleaned it in a little while but I'll just throw a bit of that oil on here and I'll squeeze it and then I'll put a little bit of water in it squeeze it again they come back brand new so it's a double bonus for me in my opinion. It's cheap, it works, it doesn't dry my skin out, it doesn't break me out, I don't have to rub hard. It's a no-brainer. So no, I wouldn't purchase any of these, but yes, this does work for sure. Really, really good on the eyes. Um, blurry vision, but then again, so does the oil if you get it in there, so whatever. This is oil-free though, um, I do believe, hang on. Yeah, uh, no oily, oil-free makeup remover, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know what makes your eyes go blurry, but it definitely does. And this one will sting your eyes if you get it in there, so... But anyway, I don't think they're bad products. I think they work for the right skin type, but they just don't work for, well. The masala water doesn't work for me. So, moving on to a moisturiser. Now, this, I love this, but um, I currently have my Clinique to get through, and um, I may go out and buy this one next after that, maybe? I don't know. But this is the Bioderma Hydra Bio Gel Cream. So let's see if you can see that. I might turn that light off just to see if you can, guys can see things a little bit better. All right, let's see if that's any better. So this, uh, yeah, you should be able to see that a little bit better, I hope. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. This is the Bioderma Hydra Bio Gel Cream Light Care Moisturizer. I love this. I love the smell of this. I love the feel of this. I love the after effects of this. Um, I'm definitely going to buy this again. Um, I just want to get through my uh, Clinique. Or if I feel that my skin needs to be switched up or something, I'll definitely go out and buy this. I loved the shit out of this. So, yes, yes, yes. I can't tell you any more than it is great. Um, I love it. It smells like bubbles to me. I don't know if you know what bubbles smell like. I sniff everything, so, so, um, I'm going to, so, yeah, somebody said that to them it smells like Glen 20, but I get, I get what they're saying there, but to me it's more bubbles, I mean, whatever. Anyway, okay, what else we got? We got another moisturiser, this is the Simple Light, oh, Kind to Skin Hydrating Light Moisturiser, this would probably work for somebody, but I um, I need a thick moisturiser. I need something that's really, really good. This is good underneath makeup, I guess, and um, but it's just not something that I would go out and buy again because it's just, eh, my normal moisturiser is better for me, especially if I'm going to be putting on makeup because I don't want to look dry and flaky, and this just this is not enough. So it would be good for somebody, but it's not good for me. Uh, more moisturisers? Yeah, I've got... 
not moisturizers, but they're eye creams. These are both from Avon. Now, in Australia, Avon no longer exists. Unfortunately, we had it for decades and they just shut up shop, so whatever. I can't get it anymore, and but somebody else can. So overseas, you still might be able to do it. And if they do do it, this is the NU Clinical Infinite Lift. So it is, I haven't used it all. It is got two separate areas. It tells you which part of the eyes that it goes on. Give me one sec. Looks like that. Smells okay, but what I found is it's not necessarily a bad product, but it burns under my eyes. It, it, it burns to the point where my eyes want to close and then they want to weep. So this was, I didn't like this. Um, and for the price that I paid for it, <laughs> no. So that'll be a definite pass. Um, I would order it from overseas and get it shipped here if it was really good. And so, eh, neither here nor there. Now this one here is the, um, I don't actually know if this one's an eye cream. No, this isn't an eye cream. This is a Anu Aqua Youth Gel Cream. And what I found with my dry skin is gels don't generally tend to work for me. And this didn't either. So, um, unfortunately, I'm throwing these products out. I'm not going to pass them on to anybody because I think they're out of date. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They're, yeah, but they didn't work for me when they were in date. So, whatever. All right, I have a nail polish here that I'm very unimpressed with. I'm throwing it out. I wouldn't even give it to my worst enemy. It is that crap. It is by Sinful Colors Professional. It is a color shift. It is this color here. Looks absolutely gorgeous. It's my color in the bottle. It's a purple. I don't know if you can tell that. There's so much light in this camera. Um, I mean, it's sparkly, but it's not chunky sparkly in the bottle. It just looks like like a sheen, right? Like a shimmer. Um, but what happens is, is even if you shake the crap out of it and put it on, you put on two, maximum three layers, right? You'll get the coverage that you want. But then when it dries down, it dries down and you have all these bumps all over there where, I guess, glitter is, and it feels crap, and it's just, it's it's horrible. Um, I was like three days later after I'd done them, I just bumped it a little bit on the cupboard, and I had that smooshed not not a flake but it's smudged and I'm like yeah nah and yeah that's just a waste of my money as far as I'm concerned so I definitely don't like this particular one I'm it's a limited edition one uh, let me see if I can find yeah uh, it's called two can do it like two can um, <laughs> let the bird but anyway I hated that I can clearly say I hated that um I'll try a different formula in the Sinful Colors, but definitely not that one. Now, I've got one more mask, and then I've got a couple of makeup products, but not many. This is an OXX Kmart Face Mask Capsule Rose Hip Moisturizing. Did I use it all? I did. All right, well, normally these are crap. Um, I've tried three or four of them just to sort of, like, rule them out, and I didn't like them. But the fact that there's no product in this obviously means that I liked it a little bit, but... The fact that I can't remember it means that maybe it wasn't as good as the rest of them. So, um, I think, if I recall, I like this one better than all of the other ones that I've tried um, in the OXX brand, but it wasn't like, you know, it's not a holy grail. So anyway, moving on, I have three makeup products and one pull. It's a mini blender. I actually don't think that it is a proper beauty blender. I don't know where I got this. I really don't know. But it's there and it's crap. So um, I'm throwing it out and I'm sorry I can't tell you where it came from. It could just be a reject shop one. I don't know. Anyway, one more thing from Avon. This is a lipstick and I just decided one day that I hated the formula because I've tried much better and it was getting disgusting. This is, um, it's got mark on it. It's from Avon. The colour is where are you? Mad for mauve, and I'll show you. So, I've only I have used quite a bit, but that's the colour there. But it's got like this, can you see the chunks? Like, right here. It's sort of melted. I don't know, it's, um, and it smells funny too, like, I just don't like it. I, I do love mauves, but this, this kind of bit, um greasy I guess and I just I just didn't like it 
So, I also have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Erase Dark Circles Concealer. I love this, and I've already purchased my backup somewhere. Yep, I've already got my backup, and I will continue to buy that unless something better comes along, but nothing has so far. So, um, in fact, I actually tried a NARS um, concealer the other day. What is it? It's the... Um, one sec. I could actually probably tell you, but... Um, Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I, I had them side by side, and to be honest with you, the Maybelline one... It shit all over it, so unless I'm using the NARS one wrong, I love this and I will definitely repurchase this. I definitely want to try some other ones, so but I go through it pretty quickly anyway, so what do you do? Ah, now the last the last thing I have is this um, La Roche Posay, and it's a sample, but it's a, a 50 plus FBF Uvita XL BB cream in the shade 01, so that's it there. And um, this is not horrible, um, but I'm not going to run out, I'm not going to race out and buy it. Um, yeah, I don't know, it just, it wasn't my favourite, so, hmm. I thought it was okay, and I really enjoyed using it, but um, it is very light coverage, and it is more so for the, um, obviously, the sun uh, and everything like that. I think it's broad spectrum, really. Uh, uh, PA++++ UVA, so I don't know. But it is, it, it's alright, it's not It's not bad, And but no, uh, I wouldn't go out and buy it. There's uh, so many other things that I want to try, but yeah. Anyway, so um, look, that that's pretty much my trash, and if you stuck around to the end, awesome. I don't know how long this video has gone for, and I, I just, it just caught up on me, eh? So anyway, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, go and subscribe. There's a little button down here somewhere or there, I don't know one of those sides and um, if you want to check the bell that'll ensure that anytime that I upload a video that you'll be alerted for, by it. I post maybe one or two videos a fortnight and maybe if I'm lucky possibly every three weeks so you're not going to get a lot of content from me um, but when you do it's always going to be honest. Go ahead give me a thumbs up that'll get the video out there for other people to be able to see more often. Um, and yeah, just thank you very much. Uh, my social handle will be coming up. Um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter. More so um, Instagram and Facebook than, than Twitter. But either way, I'm still on all of those. So anyway, thanks again and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.